Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome. So for today's video, I am going to be filming a little haul of all the things that I got for my 14th birthday. I'm going to be showing you some of the cards I got, all of the really nice things my friends and family got me. Can you tell I'm tired today? I got five hours of sleep. So yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get started with this haul. I am very grateful. Just a PSA. So this is a lip and cheek tint. This is how it looks like. The Louis Partridge Vinyls. Look how gigantic it is. So, starting off strong. First thing that I got is this huge duck. Look how gigantic it is. This thing is humongous, so I had to carry it around school all day. There's nothing more I love than plushies. Something ironic was that when I received this gift, the day I was eating a bunch of ducks. So, tasty. Okay, so the next thing that I got, this necklace a brand sent it me. I forgot the brand, I'm sorry, but they're on Instagram. This is my favorite thing they sent me, a heart necklace. It is rose gold and silver. Definitely the colors that I lean to most when buying jewelry. So they also sent me another necklace. This is the one of the moon. I picked these out. I think y'all can tell I'm not really a moon person. I seem more like a sun kind of gal. And then they also sent me these two heart earrings in silver. Now, next thing, I think you could see I have a huge ass blanket over here. Let me show you. Wait. So this is the next thing that I got from my great friend, Finn. He gave me a Louis Partridge blanket, y'all look. Okay, he is literally the finest guy ever. Next thing that I got is this pillow that I am using right now. Finn also gave me this along with the Louis Partridge blanket. It says relationship status, single, taken, or mentally dating Louis Partridge. This is my favorite pillow I've ever owned in my whole entire life explains my life situation pretty goddamn well. I, I had to walk around with the pillow and the blanket all day long as well. So I was hugging that as I was walking. I got to be with my favorite person all day long and I got to hug something during lessons. It was great. All right, time for vinyls. I love vinyls. You guys, okay, so I just quickly wanted to come and say a few things. By the way, I'm sitting in my living room right now. I'm going to sleep here today because I just feel like it. I want to watch TV, so I'm sleeping down here. Basically, I feel like these next clips I filmed are definitely a bit confusing. So my dad bought me for my birthday some vinyls so that was what my family gave me my sister also helped me picked out the vinyls i got a few so yeah i'm gonna show you all that real quick including um, my turntable which i also received from my father in my opinion very vintage but it's something that's very timeless okay so we should start with the first thing that i unboxed olivia rodrigo's sour album just look at how aesthetically pleasing this is so it's all the song names and then she thanks a bunch of people her manager her parents taylor swift for letting her interpret the song new year's day for the record one step forward three steps i bought out. lana del rey's born to die album my personal favorite from the first side is Born to Die. Video games and national anthem is pretty popular on TikTok too. And then side B, Summertime Sadness, because I am an incredibly basic TikTok. Let me play this for you. Swinging in the backyard, in your past I'm gonna show you some cool things that you can do with this. You can change like the speed of the song. So right now it's in a very slow mode, but you can speed it up. And this is how, ladies and gentlemen, you get a TikTokified version to a famous song. I think it's very aesthetic. Okay, back to the haul. Next album that means the most to me is AM by Arctic Monkeys. Arctic Monkeys is definitely one of my favorite band. Here is what the inside looks like. So my dad actually got this in Tokyo. All the lyrics to the song has it in Japanese as well. Favorite song is probably Why'd You Always Call Me When You're High, another classic one. And here is how the disc looks like. 
Okay, on to the next final, Harry Styles, the album. So this is his first album that he made. I was debating whether buying his latest album or his oldest album because I feel like everyone really goes for his newest album because there's As It Was, but you guys, I don't think any song can be sign of the time. So I had to buy his first album. So when you open the cover art, you are met with a really handsome photo of Bill Skarsgård. I mean, it really does look like him, no? And then last but not least, I got Billie Eilish's first album, Don't Smile At Me. I don't really enjoy Heavier Than Ever. There's only a few songs that I like, I, in my opinion, okay. The songs are a bit similar, but the first album is actually my favorite because there's songs such as Copycat, I Don't Want to Be You Anymore. I Don't Want to Be You Anymore. I used to sing this song a lot in singing classes. I love the song Watch. Party Favor. Belly Ache, first Billie Eilish song that I ever heard. Ocean Eyes. <laughs> So that was all the vinyls that I received. Then also from my parents, on my birthday, they printed out a bunch of photos of me. And when I was blowing out my cakes, they just put it out on the table. And it was honestly the sweetest thing ever. They all printed out photos of me in vacation when I went to Korea. They put it in this really nice photo album. This photo of me and my dad, me and my mom, me, my sister. Okay, so the next thing that I got isn't actually physically here with me right now. It's from my bestie, Amy. But I wasn't in school for a week because I was sick and then the stuff came and then we were supposed to meet each other, but then she had to go to figure skating because she's a figure skater. She is incredibly talented at that, but we just didn't see each other. So I'll put the thing that she gave me right here. It is the most adorable chic bag it has a really nice beachy feel to it love you aim also she wanted me to add this in here aim is not a bad friend okay so the next thing that i got was from parmaham love you pam so she bought me the rare beauty luminizing highlighter i just use it on my face if you can see my face is very glowy this is how it looks like all you need is uh, to take the wand out of the tube of this highlighter and just dab it onto the high points of your face like your cheekbones and maybe over here or on the bridge of your nose love that she gave me rare beauty because i stand queen selena and then she also knitted me this very cute crochet to put this highlighter inside uh because she crochets and knits things found out very cute and very thoughtful moving on to the next item or items i'd say okay so my friend my other friend her name is rena she bought me a bunch of things. First and foremost, she gave me this flora tint from Benefit. So this is a lip and cheek tint, nice. Here's how it looks like, you just dab it onto your lips and your cheeks. She also gave me these pens. And the most favorite thing that she gave me was um, a painting of me she drew. Let me show you. Because right now, I stuck it to the wall of my room. So if you come over here, don't mind how messy my table looks right now, but this is a picture of me. In France, it is like, the, it used to be the profile of a bunch of my accounts. So she painted this. It's so thoughtful. I think it's honestly one of the nicest gifts. I love sentimental things if you can't already real, realize. And then she wrote a really thoughtful message, which I won't expose to the world because I don't think she wants Alrighty, that. Alrighty, so that was what I got from Miss Rita Takahashi. So then the next thing that I got was from Ooh. She gave me this wallet from Louis Fontaine. And at first when I unboxed this, I thought she gave me Louis Vuitton. So I was like, damn girl, you really care about me that much? Are you really spending that much money on me? And then it turns out that it wasn't Louis Vuitton. It's fine, cause Louis Fontaine is good as well. I don't know what they are, but she wrote me this really sweet letter. I love, love, love notes especially when they're funny. So it says, Happy birthday, Kate. I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished this year and truly grateful that you're still alive and thriving in this cruel world. I love this statement because this world is very cruel. And I agree. I am very grateful that I'm still alive. Don't know how that's happening. You're an absolutely outstanding individual, mainly because you're built different. Just a little inside joke we have because 
once upon a time I was competing in a race, I think. I, I don't even know what happened and I won. And I started talking about being built different. You flourish in every way possible and I hope you continue to live long and inspire others like you've inspired me. Love you. Aw, next thing. I got a bunch of stationery, y'all. Um, don't know who this was from, but I got uh, this erasable highlighter set. Another friend gave me this. I forgot who this was from. <laughs> this is a travel set. God damn it, I haven't opened this yet. Can you tell I haven't opened any of my presents yet? I should be, but I haven't. God damn it, I should have used this when I went to Japan, but so cute. Okay, next thing that I got is hair clips. So it's in a heart shape and it's so cute. Two claw clips, mini size. We also got these hair ties with butterflies. And I don't know if I would count this as a birthday present. This was an early birthday present my father gave to me, which was AirPods. Yay. I personally have always had like um, earphones and those always were very tangled. So when I got AirPods, I instantly fell in love. Okay, you guys. So now I also got some clothes for my birthday. I'm gonna show you all it and I'm gonna do a little try and all. Um, so first I got the tank a crop top um, from h and it's very cute, as you can see. There are these, I think, bluebells printed on, or just any blue flower, I don't really know what it is. Any shorts would match this. So then I have this t-shirt. It's kind of short, so this is from Urban Revival, their collab with Disney. Disney again, I love Disney. So this dog is from Dalmatian 101. It's in this really nice white and brown um, color palette tone. I personally love dressing up in beigey, browny, or like white colors. As you can see, right here. Um, so this one uh, ca just caught my eye. Another shirt. I love the design of this. This is uh, from Urban Revival. It has a very slanted, like the chest area over here. <laughs> I don't even know, opening. It's a whole vibe. I think the way it's designed is very comfortable. It's very comfy and it looks very cool. I really like how the fabric is kind of folded over here. I'm just in love with this neutral green tone. I love neutral colors. I feel like sometimes when you have too many bright colors, you can't really match it with anything. So you have to have neutral colors in your closet. Okay, and then I got this from New Knife. They are located in Japan. And then I got this oversized, extremely oversized jean jacket from Urban Revival. I really do love this. I feel like it makes any outfit look more retro. It's this cardigan um, from Continue the Night. Nice cloth, another Japanese clothing store. I love the, the patterns, the cuttings here. And then got this really nice shirt my dad got me from another japanese brand called vision it's called vision streetwear so this is another oversized shirt another comfy one for me to wear um it says vision and at the back i love the reason that i got this was because of back um vision i love that word there's a, a list here at first i didn't know what it said but i was like it looks aesthetically pleasing so i'll buy it it says Skeeter die legends never die cycle stick Bow to concrete, vision for life, flash vision, trash, death, speed, metal, need for speed, no posers, shred hard or go home, vision noise. Obviously very motivational quotes we've got going on here. Personally, I love having a vision. I love the thought of visioning things and envisioning things. I think I'm, I would say this proudly because I'm confident that I have a good visible vision of what I want to happen in life. and. I just think that this is a good representation of that. I really do um, encourage people to create a vision with whatever they do because it really helps. Because I have a vision with everything that I do. I really do stand a lot for. Okay, I'm making this sound so deep, but hey, who the hell cares? And yeah, you guys, that was everything that I got for my birthday. I'm trying to see if I forgot anything yeah that is going to be it for today's video thank you so so much for watching um and i'll see you guys later bye